Hey, hey YouTube, this is Avatar Baby Chair, and I haven't seen y'all in a while, but that's because schoolwork has been picking up because finals is about to start. <sighs> oh, I just haven't had time to film and edit a video, so unfortunately YouTube has been taking the back burner to my classes, but I'm here racking out a video for you all now, and for this video I wanted to do a first impression on the product that I recently got, which is the... Miss Jessie's Curly Custard. Supposedly, it's supposed to be the best darn curly custard. It says it right here. So, but it's gonna be a first impression video because I have used this. One Sunday, I went over one of my friend's house and her sister is natural, so we bonded. We had that connection. So we bonded over being natural. She gave me a few of her products and one of these was this. Now I realize why she gave it to me, cause partially I don't like it. I do not like it. I've had, I've heard a lot of good things about Miss Jessie products over YouTube, but I don't even know. So, real quick, I'm gonna read to you what the description of what it's supposed to do. It says, finally a wash and go styler that really works for TWAs, uh, Teen Wee Afros, and curly coily hair. Coily Custard is the very best curl styler for transforming tight frizzy froze to loose moisturized curls. Coily Custard is a slippery motion that coats every frizzy strand with a dose of super moisture and shine that enhances and defines your curl pattern, reduces frizz, and fights curl shrinkage. Coily Custard, you can now achieve that just wash look when your curls are shiny, elongated, and soft to the touch. Coily Custard is made specifically for your glorious crown of curls. So yeah, that's this whole package. It's in a cute little purple and yellow uh, package. The first ingredient is water and then it comes glycerin and hydrolyzed cornstarch. The reason I was trying to try this product out is because I had washed my hair like two or three weeks ago. I didn't feel like combing my hair, so I was like, hmm, it says it's good for a wash and go, so I'm gonna try a wash and go. That lasted a good 2.2 seconds because I, was, I have a lot of damage in my hair, so even though this did define my curl, I'll tell you, this stuff, it defines your curls at the moment it comes it comes in contact with your hair. But since I have curly hair with my healthy hair and then the straight ends from when my hair was damaged, it's still damaged, I haven't cut it out yet. Uh, it was just not gonna look right and I have uh, 4C hair. So basically what it looked like I have just woken up and done nothing in my hair and that's not how I wanted to go to school. So I decided to do to comb my hair anyway with this product. And one thing that I use with this product, I use my shea butter, which I always use because that's one of the products that I know will work good with my hair. And then I've also been using the As I Am Double Butter Moisture Butter. And I used it with this. This stuff, for one thing, let me show y'all the consistency of this stuff. That's one thing I did not like about it. This, is like a gel, and that's, oh, I hate that. I hate the jelly feel. I don't like it when it came in contact with my hair. Another thing I didn't like about this product was when I put it on my hair, yeah, it defined my curl, but when it was mixed with the double butter as I am cream clumps that showed up in my hair. If you've seen Natural Me 4C video, she talked about how you can find products that will mix well together and by rub mixing those two products on your hand and then mixing it together and then if you see little clumpies, then you know that the clumpies will show up in your hair and the clumpy showed up in my hair. For one thing, I didn't test it out beforehand, and that's why I was so committed to putting in my hair by that, that uh, moment that I didn't even bother taking it out because I had my hair halfway done when I realized it. I was like, you know what, I might as well, I done committed this far, I might as well finish the commitment. So that's one, another reason I didn't like it. The third reason I didn't like this thing was because, bruh, bruh. Burke, Burke, Burke. It was a couple hours I had the idea, cause I, the, when I wash, I usually wash my hair in the mornings, like early, early mornings, like not early, early, but like about 12 o'clock at night. And then I'll comb and wash and be done by about two. But this particular day, I had uh, washed my hair in the morning, like at six or about six or five o'clock in the morning. And then did my hair, cause I had church that same day. So I had did my hair. 
Then later on when I got back from church, I had felt my hair because sometimes I just like to play with my hair for some reason. And that ninja was hard. That plait was hard because I did a braid out. That plait was stiff. It when it came up, it came. It didn't like fall like you pull up a plait and then got like a loop to it. It just was straight. It was basically like, oh, I almost hit myself. It was like this, basically, basically like this. And I was like. Bro, it basically stiffens your hair. See, I didn't use it for what it was supposed to be used for, which was a wash and go. However, it says you're supposed to have super soft coils, which is right here. If it's clumpy and stiff when it's braided, how is it supposed to be super and soft when it's out in a twist out or when it dries in a wash and go? And that, it was clunky like that when it had dried. See, when it was wet, it was still like a regular braid where it was like flimsy. But as soon as it dried, then that's when the whole thing just stiffened up on me. So I'm like, I never, never know. This product is not my favorite and the smell ain't too high either. For the most part, I'm glad I didn't buy this. I wouldn't personally buy this. It moisturizes your hair, yeah, it does. But still, I just don't like the jelly feeling. I don't like the crunchiness it does. I mean, the stiffness it provides for my braids. Because like, how I wear my hair, I like to wear my hair in braids a lot as a protective style. Because I don't be having time to be doing all the twist outs and braid outs and then like up dudes and down dudes. I just do a braid, a braid and there you go. And go about my day because I'm like, I can do those fast. I don't have to do nothing to wake up in the morning, take my scarf off and leave. I don't have to do nothing with my hair, so I, so if this is making my hair stiff, I'm like, is it really even moisturizing my hair for the real, for real? That was my first impression. Now, like a deep to deep, cause I don't wanna waste this, cause she gave it to me at the goodness of her heart, I'm gonna use it, even though I wouldn't repurchase it. I'ma use it though. And I used it last night because I washed my hair. And as you can see, I still got it, I got it like a twist out. So, cause I'ma let it go tomorrow. And see, I was gonna do it today, but I woke up too late. <laughs> so, and just so I just had to throw on a beanie and go. But tomorrow I'm gonna let my hair out and see how it goes with the whole uh, using this. Because what I did, instead of it, to prevent the whiteness that came from last time, I only used this with my shea butter and then this and then some oil to conceal both the shea butter and this to moisturize my hair and so far it hasn't got me gave uh, given me any problems because i haven't seen any white things that any white clumpies that's been showing up in my hair so far so apparently i think it's just with the double buttercream mixed with this that makes white clumps so we'll see how it turns out hopefully it's not too bad and it doesn't make my hair um poofy because I want like big hair but I don't want it to look frizzy and like no curl pattern or a de definition to it because I'm like that would be just a fail. That was my first and second impression about the Miss Jessie's curly custard. Do I think that she's got curly custard? And about when it's in your hair it does define your curl like it will define the mess out your curl but as far as the other thing that I don't like about it, I wouldn't say it's the best darn one, but it'll do for right now to at least use it up. All right, this is Avatar Baby Chair. Bye, YouTube.